In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually choose your DNS server on an Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S console. I will also show you a simple way to determine the best DNS server for your location. Please note that this video is slightly technical. I will do my best to make the steps easy to follow. The most important thing is that you follow each step carefully. Pause the video as necessary to follow along. First, you're going to want to open up your network settings and then navigate down to the option that says Advanced Settings. From here, you're going to select DNS Settings. From here, you will choose Manual. This is the screen where you will enter the IP address of the DNS server of your choosing. The next step is determining which DNS server is the best choice based on your location. Contrary to popular belief, changing your DNS server will not affect your upload and download speeds. It can reduce your latency which is actually more important than bandwidth when it comes to online gaming. For the next step, you're going to want to jump over onto either a PC or a Mac. I have provided a list of the six DNS servers that are going to be best for most people. First, you're going to want to open a command prompt session if you're on Windows, or a terminal session if you're on Mac or Linux. On Windows, click the Start button and type in CMD. Now click on Command Prompt. From here, we will be using the ping command. This command works the same way whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Start by typing in the word ping. Then we'll type in the IP address of our first DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8, .8 then press enter. You will get four results. Either write these down or take a picture of them. The number we are interested in here is the latency, which is expressed in milliseconds. Your latency may be lower or higher than mine. That is okay. What we are actually interested in is the differences in latency. This will vary for everybody and your numbers will not look the same as mine. Now we will do the same thing with the next IP address. Repeat the process with the remaining four DNS servers. When you have completed this, you will have the results from each of the six DNS servers. In my case, the DNS server with the lowest latency was 1.1.1.1. This is Cloudflare's DNS service. I am guessing for most people it will be either 1.1.1.1 or 4.2.2.2. Prove me wrong. Write down in the comments section which IP address was best for your location. From here, we're going to hop back over to the Xbox console. Now we're going to enter the IP address of the server best for your location. For me, that was 1.1.1.1. For the secondary DNS server, you can either use the same company's DNS server as the primary, or you can use a different one. I would recommend using the one that is second best in your test. I like using two separate DNS providers for redundancy. That way, if a DNS server outage is affecting one company, it is likely not affecting your other DNS. Your other option is to use the secondary DNS server that is associated with your primary DNS server. In my case, that is 1.0.0.1. 
press OK, and from here you will see your updated DNS settings. The process is now complete. You have now chosen the best DNS settings for your location. If you got value out of this video, please consider dropping a like.